Life is full of both sunshine and rain and sometimes, a few crab apples too. These grumpy folks are sprinkled throughout our travels, no matter where we go. It's almost like they've taken it upon themselves to balance the scales of human emotion. And while we might encounter these people anywhere, there are some places that seem to have won the jackpot and the grumpy lottery. These high concentration zones of grumpiness vary for a myriad of reasons. In some cities, it's the traffic that seems to bring out the beast in people. Honking horns, aggressive driving, and eternal gridlocks can turn even the most patient person into a raging bull. In other places, it's the poor standards of living that fuel their fury. It's hard to maintain a sunny disposition when you're constantly battling with issues related to housing, sanitation, and infrastructure. Then there are those mystery locations where people are just mean, seemingly without a good reason. Maybe it's something in the water, or perhaps they're just born with an extra dose of sass. Today, we're embarking on a humorous yet enlightening journey across America, counting down the rudest city in every state. It's like a tour guide to grumpiness, if you will. As we navigate through this list, let's hope your hometown doesn't make a guest appearance. So, buckle up and brace yourself for the United States of Attitude. But before starting the video I want to request you, we put our best efforts to create our every single video, so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Number 50, Anchorage, Alaska. Anchorage, Alaska, often misunderstood as a city of rude inhabitants, may simply be a place where people value their personal space and solitude. The residents here are known to be quiet and prefer to keep to themselves, which can often be misconstrued as rudeness by those unfamiliar with these cultural nuances. This particular social norm might not resonate with everyone, especially those from more outgoing societies. However, it's essential to remember that this is their way of life it doesn't necessarily equate to rudeness. Visiting Anchorage provides the opportunity to experience this unique culture firsthand. And yes, while exploring, do watch out for bears. Their apparent lack of manners is more about survival in the wild rather than any genuine rudeness. Number 49, Phoenix, Arizona. Ah, Phoenix, the city that puts the heat in heated conversations. Visitors might be quick to label Phoenix as rude, but let's be honest, it's probably just the sizzling temperatures playing tricks on them. With a four-month stretch where the average high is over a scorching 100 degrees Fahrenheit and a scant five rainy days for relief, it's no wonder folks might seem a bit hot under the collar. But don't fret, what might come off as rudeness is typically just tourists and locals trying to keep their cool amidst the relentless sun. After all, it's hard to maintain perfect manners when you're busy melting. So, Grab your sunscreen and a sense of humor because Phoenix promises an adventure hotter than a jalapeno pepper. Number 48, Los Angeles, California. Ah, the city of angels. Home to glitz, glamour, and apparently some of the nation's most discourteous individuals. Perhaps it's the relentless pursuit of stardom that has them a bit on edge, or maybe it's the pressure to appear as cool as the sunglasses perpetually perched on their heads. But, let's be fair, Living in the city that birthed Hollywood can't be all sunshine and smoothies. With the constant hustle and bustle, it's understandable if they seem a little less than friendly. So, next time you encounter a less than pleasant local, remember they're probably just rehearsing for their big break. In the meantime, why not offer them a smile? It might just be the best part of their day. Number 47, Colorado Springs, Colorado. It seems that the crisp mountain air in Colorado Springs hasn't been enough to keep the locals on their best behavior. The city has secured the number 9 spot on the travel and leisure list of America's rudest cities. But don't let this ranking discourage you. Colorado, with its majestic Rocky Mountains and vast open spaces, provides plenty of opportunities to escape any potential rudeness. So, if you're planning a trip to the Centennial State, just remember, if the springs get too prickly, the Rockies are always ready to welcome you with open, albeit rocky, arms. Number 46, New Haven, Connecticut. New Haven, Connecticut, renowned for its prestigious Yale University, seems to have earned itself a rather dubious distinction. According to several surveys, including one by Travel and Leisure, it's considered one of the unfriendliest cities in America. 
one might think that a city brimming with Ivy League intellectuals would be a hub of culture conversation and cordiality. It appears some folks there might have skipped their manners 101 class. But hey, don't let that deter you from visiting. New Haven is still rich in history, culture, and, yes, world-class education. Just remember, a little extra patience might go a long way when navigating those hallowed, albeit apparently somewhat haughty, halls. Number 45, Wilmington, Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware, the largest city in the state, might not top every traveler's bucket list. Its recent ranking as number 13 on Condé Nast's list of most unfriendly cities in the world can certainly give pause to potential visitors. However, it's worth noting that there's more to Wilmington than meets the eye. Home to the historic estates, museums, and gardens built by the DuPont family, one of the richest and most venerable in the USA, Wilmington is steeped in Dutch history and rich culture. It also offers a lively downtown area with boutique shopping, live entertainment, and bold, flavorful dining. Plus, the Wilmington Riverwalk and Delaware Art Museum are popular attractions. Number 44, Atlanta, Georgia. It seems that Atlanta, Georgia has found itself in the spotlight, but perhaps not for the reasons one might hope. According to Travel Plus Leisure, it was named as one of the nation's rudest cities. This led to a flurry of online chatter, with many proud Atlanteans jumping to their city's defense. The irony? Some of their responses were, well, a touch on the brusque side. It's almost as if they were determined to prove the point by fiercely calling out anyone who dared question Atlanta's level of friendliness. So buckle up, folks! If you're heading to Atlanta, prepare for a city with plenty of character and a whole lot of spirit. Number 43, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, the windy city, is known for its bone-chilling winters. Now, it seems that the frosty weather might be influencing the disposition of its inhabitants. They're getting a bit of a reputation for being as cold as their famous wind. But hey, let's not be too quick to judge. With over 1.5 million international visitors each year, who wouldn't get a little icy? It's a bustling city full of diverse cultures, so maybe we can chalk it up to big city syndrome. Remember, it's not really the Chicagoans' fault. They're just trying to stay warm amidst the icy winds and the flurry of tourists. So, let's cut them some slack and bundle up when visiting. Number 42, Portland, Oregon. Portland, the city famous for keeping it weird, has recently added a new feather to its cap. It seems the city is now also gaining a reputation for being a bit on the rude side. A strange combination indeed, but then again, Portland has never been one to shy away from the unconventional. So, if you're planning a visit, forget about expecting the usual politeness or rudeness. In Portland, it's all about the unexpected. From its eclectic food scene to its thriving arts community, Portland continues to surprise and delight in the most peculiar ways. Number 41, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, the gem of the Pacific Northwest, might not be as laid back as everyone assumes. It seems the city's rapid growth spurt over recent years has stirred up a bit of a storm in a coffee cup. Suddenly, this once quaint city is teeming with newcomers, and the locals aren't exactly thrilled about sharing their space. It's like the city's been gatecrashed by an unexpected wave of partygoers. But hey, can you blame the Seattleites for being protective? After all, they've got killer coffee, a booming tech scene, and breathtaking natural beauty to guard. So, if you're planning a visit, just remember blend in, don't stand out, and definitely don't diss their coffee. Number 40, Baltimore, Maryland. Baltimore, steeped in history and brimming with character, is one of America's oldest cities. It seems that with age has come a certain gruffness among its citizens. Like an old crab, some might say they're a bit prickly on the outside. But don't let this reputation deter you from exploring the city's charm. Sure, there are those who may seem a bit grouchy, and others might share tales of feeling slightly uneasy during their visits. Number 39, Detroit, Michigan. Ah, Detroit. It's a bit of a no-brainer to see it on this list. But let's cut them some slack, shall we? They've had their fair share of bumps along the way. 
Once a glittering symbol of American advancement, Detroit has faced its challenges, which might have put a little snarl in its smile. But hey, if Detroit is a little gruff around the edges, it just goes to show that it's still kicking and alive. There's a certain charm in that gritty resilience, don't you think? So, if you're heading to Detroit, brace yourself for a city with a strong pulse and an even stronger personality. Number 38, Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, the city of lights and casinos, has earned a reputation for its vibrant nightlife and endless entertainment options. However, it's also gained some notoriety as one of the rudest cities in America, as reported by various sources, including Fox 5 Vegas and KTNV. This perception might be fueled by the stress of high-stakes gambling and the influx of tourists who sometimes let loose a bit too much. Number 37, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe, with its rich history and breathtaking beauty, might surprise you with an unexpected trait a reputation for rudeness. Intriguing, isn't it? But perhaps the rest of New Mexico is so incredibly polite that it makes Santa Fe seem a bit brusque by comparison. So, don't let this peculiar reputation dissuade you from visiting. Maybe Santa Fe's inhabitants are just refreshingly straightforward a dash of honesty in a world often too polite. Number 36, Miami, Florida. When you close your eyes and envision Miami, your mind likely dances to the pulsating beats of its world-renowned nightclubs. It's only natural to associate this vibrant city with its thriving nightlife scene. After all, even the locals seem to be perpetually in club mode. Perhaps that explains the occasional impatience or brusqueness you may encounter. You see, they're probably daydreaming about their favorite DJ's set or the exhilarating rush of a crowded dance floor. Number 35, New York City, New York. New York City, the place where dreams come true and the city that never sleeps. We've all seen it in the movies, a bustling metropolis filled with honking cars, crowded sidewalks, and people who seem like they're always in a rush. It's easy to mistake this hustle and bustle for rudeness. But let's cut these New Yorkers some slack. They're just trying to navigate through their jam-packed schedules while also worrying about making rent for their apartments, which, by the way, are often the size of your average closet and cost a small fortune. Number 34, Cincinnati, Ohio. It seems that the term Midwest nice might not apply to everyone in Cincinnati, Ohio. Recent search results show that Cincinnati ranked as the 24th rudest city in the U.S. according to a survey by Business Insider. It's even been said that some found the city to be a little on the dull side. Number 33, Little Rock, Arkansas. In the heart of Arkansas lies the bustling city of Little Rock, a place where rudeness seems as prevalent as the wafting scent of smoked ribs at a local cookout. It's almost as if the city has a rude Olympics, and everyone's competing for gold, now it's not that people in Arkansas are inherently rude, it's just that in Little Rock, they seem to have perfected the art. But here's the hilarious part, these folks tire out faster than a cheetah on a treadmill. One moment they're huffing and puffing with indignation, the next, they're as docile as lambs. It's as if they've got a limited supply of rudeness each day, and once it's used up, they're forced to resort to good old southern charm. Number 32, Birmingham, Alabama. Welcome to Birmingham, a city that might seem tough on the outside but harbors a true southern spirit within. Known for their love of gossip just as much as their love for barbecue, the locals have mastered the art of behind-the-scenes chatter. It's sort of like a twisted form of southern hospitality. As long as you don't go digging too deep or eavesdropping around corners, you're unlikely to hear anything harsh directly. Number 31, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, the city of brotherly love. With such a heartwarming moniker, you'd expect it to be all sunshine and rainbows, right? But let's not forget, anyone who has a sibling knows that brotherly love isn't always about sharing toys and secret handshakes. It can also involve some good-natured ribbing, a few pranks, and, yes, even the occasional wrestling match. So, if you find Philadelphians a bit feisty or straightforward, remember it's just their way of showing that brotherly love. Number 30, Bloomington, Indiana. According to a variety of sources, Bloomington, Indiana has been dubbed the rudest city in the state. Now, who would have thought? 
You might anticipate running into a grumpy character or two in bustling cities like Boston, but Bloomington? It's true that size doesn't always matter. This modest Midwestern town can apparently hold its own against the big city folks when it comes to dishing out attitude. Number 29, Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, a city steeped in history and brimming with character, also boasts one of the most distinctive accents in the country. And let's be honest, that Bostonian drawl can sometimes throw tourists for a loop. It's almost as if Bostonians and Germans share a secret pact, they both just sound mad, don't they? And let's not forget about their penchant for using outside voices everywhere. Tease enough to give any visitor a bit of a startle. But hey, don't feel too bad for Boston. The chances are high that this revelation didn't surprise a single local. Number 28, Providence, Rhode Island. Providence has developed a reputation for being somewhat aloof or even rude, according to various sources. This New England city has been described as bookishly aloof by travel plus leisure readers and was ranked 13th on their list of most rude cities. However, it's important to consider that the perceived standoffishness could be more a reflection of local customs or the reserved nature of some residents rather than outright rudeness. Despite this perception, Providence has much to offer. Number 27, Newark, New Jersey. Newark, it's like the city that never fails to make the rudest city lists. But, honestly, isn't a dash of rudeness just part of the authentic New Jersey charm? We all knew Newark was going to be on this list, and we're pretty sure Newark saw it coming, too. It's like the kid at school who gets voted most likely to disrupt class year after year. And honestly, we're a bit surprised they didn't just bend the rules and crown all of New Jersey as the rudest city. After all, why let one city have all the fun? So, if you're planning to visit, brace yourself for a hearty dose of Jersey-style hospitality. Number 26 Salt Lake City, Utah. Salt Lake City, the heart of Utah, has found itself on the list of America's rudest cities. Shocking, right? The city has been ranked 47th out of 50, according to Business Insider, and even found a spot at number 6 in an annual survey for America's favorite places. It seems some residents of this Mormon Mecca might have missed Emily Post's etiquette lessons. However, before we jump to conclusions, it's worth noting that the criteria for rudeness can be quite subjective. Number 25, Cut Bank, Montana. Cut Bank, while not a large city, is known for its high crime rates, making it a dangerous place to live within the state. The community also grapples with issues of economic development and education, further compounding its problems. This combination of high crime, economic instability, and educational challenges can create an environment that's less than conducive to fostering a polite society. Number 24, Waianae, Hawaii. Hawaii, a tropical paradise known for its lush greenery, pristine beaches, and aloha spirit. But does rudeness lurk beneath the palm trees? It's hard to imagine anyone being grumpy in such a beautiful place, but every rose has its thorn, and in this case, it's Waianae. Despite its laid-back vibe, Waianae holds the dubious honor of having one of the highest crime rates in the state. Petty theft might not be what comes to mind when you think of rudeness, but let's be honest, stealing someone's flip-flops is pretty uncool. Yet, remember that even in paradise, reality has its way of creeping in. So, keep your belongings close, but your aloha spirit closer. After all, a little extra caution never hurt anyone, and it certainly won't dampen the Hawaiian sunshine. Number 23, Rupert, Idaho. Rupert might be a small town that could easily go unnoticed on a map, but it has a knack for leaving an impression. Some say Rupert has earned a bit of a reputation as being a bit prickly, like a porcupine in human form. This cozy corner of Idaho is a magnet for retirees, which might explain the atmosphere. Number 22, Laurel, Nebraska. Nestled in Nebraska is the quaint town of Laurel, where its less than 1,000 residents march to their own beat. Devoid of typical small-town charm, Laurel's uniqueness lies in its somewhat aloof persona. The locals might come across as isolated, but maybe they're just champions of personal space. It's a place where solitude isn't just appreciated, it's a lifestyle. So, 
If you fancy peace and tranquility over bustling city life and don't mind a touch of frostiness, Laurel might just be your perfect retreat. After all, who doesn't love a town with character? Number 21, Clinton, Iowa. Clinton, nestled in the heartland of America, this small town has been described as lacking that quintessential hometown feel. Perhaps it's not a lack of friendliness, but rather an aura of introversion that pervades this quaint locale. The locals might just prefer to keep to themselves, enjoying the peace and quiet typical of a small town. Now, let's be real. How many among us can boast of having set foot in Clinton, Iowa? Not many, so, whether you perceive the locals as standoffish or simply reserved, remember it's all part of the unique flavor of Clinton. Number 20, Topeka, Kansas. Topeka, nestled in the heart of Kansas, it seems you've got a bit of a reputation. Apparently, this city, with its second highest crime rate in the state, isn't exactly the poster child for camaraderie and community pride. It's no wonder then that the residents might seem a tad grumpy living amidst such statistics can be a bit of a downer. But hey, let's not be too hard on Topeka. After all, every place has its quirks. And maybe that grumpiness is simply a coping mechanism, a tough exterior hiding a resilient spirit. So if you decide to visit, remember to wear your brightest smile. Number 19, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Brace yourself for the frosty charm of Minneapolis, a city known as much for its icy winters as its seemingly cool residents. It's a common joke that Minneapolis locals, despite the famous Minnesota nice, can be a bit distant towards outsiders. They wrap themselves up in layers of parkas and politeness, creating an enigmatic chill that leaves newcomers puzzled. The reason behind this cool demeanor is as elusive as a snowflake in a blizzard. Some say it's the harsh winters that shape their character. Others think it's just part of their unique charm. Number 18, Louisville, Kentucky, Louisville, a city known for its baseball bats, bourbon, and the Kentucky Derby, has recently found itself on some less than flattering lists. It's been dubbed one of the worst basketball cities and, surprisingly, one of the saddest places in the country. Whether these rankings hold any truth or not is up for debate, but they've certainly ruffled a few feathers among the locals. The residents of Louisville are proud folks, so if you're visiting, tread lightly when it comes to questioning the city's credentials. Number 17, Martinsburg, West Virginia. Welcome to the paradox that is Martinsburg, picture perfect landscapes, breathtaking vistas, and a charm that could make poets swoon. But wait, before you pack your bags for this idyllic destination, there's a small catch, the locals. While the natural beauty of Martinsburg might make your heart skip a beat, some of its residents may just raise your eyebrows. Yes, you heard it right, the folks here can sometimes be as chilly as a winter breeze. But don't let that deter you. After all, every place has its quirks, and Martinsburg is no exception. Number 16, New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans, the city that never sleeps, where the music is as vibrant as its culture, and the food, oh the food, is a gastronomic adventure in itself. It seems a bit peculiar to see it on this list, doesn't it? After all, it's a global tourist hotspot, a 24 by 7, party haven buzzing with life and energy, right? Well, that could be true, depending on how you look at it. But remember, New Orleans is the beating heart of Louisiana, the epicenter of all things noteworthy, whether they're good, bad, or downright bizarre. It's the place where jazz was born, where Mardi Gras revelries paint the town every year, and where the supernatural weaves tales of enchantment. So, yes, it might surprise some, but New Orleans definitely deserves a spot on this list because, let's face it, where else in Louisiana does life happen with such gusto? Number 15, Auburn, Maine. Maine, with its picturesque New England charm, might appear to be a page straight out of a storybook to outsiders. However, like any other place, it has its fair share of shadows, and Auburn seems to be nestled right in the middle of them. Auburn holds the dubious honor of having one of the highest crime rates in the state, which can understandably make the locals a bit jittery. So, if you're visiting, don't expect a grand parade or a red carpet welcome unless it's a detective's crime scene tape. But hey, every place has its quirks, right? 
Auburn may not be the safest, but it sure adds a spicy twist to Maine's otherwise serene narrative. Number 14, Corinth, Mississippi. It's a place where the hustle and bustle of economic or cultural vibrancy might seem like a distant dream. Its rhythm is slower, its pace gentler, with not much happening. You see, Corinth isn't your typical city bustling with activities. Instead, it's a town where time seems to move at its own leisurely pace. It's tough to keep spirits high when the surroundings seem to echo with a somber tune. That's probably a big reason that outsiders seem to consider Corinth a rude place. Number 13, Houston, Texas. Houston, a city of contrasts and contradictions, where millions of souls coexist in a steamy, bustling melting pot. It's a place where the sweltering heat can fry an egg on the sidewalk, and the traffic jams are so legendary that they become tourist attractions. You're advised not to drive, but if you ditch the car, you're left braving the infamous Houston humidity. And as for navigating this sprawling metropolis? Well, it's larger than Rhode Island, so you might want to pack a compass. With all these challenges, it's no wonder the locals might seem a tad grumpy. But hey, that's just part of Houston's unique charm, right? Number 12, St. Louis, Missouri. St. Louis is the gateway to the West and, as some might say, the gateway to a rather gruff crowd. Indeed, even some locals aren't shy about acknowledging that their city seems to have an unusually high concentration of people who have forgotten their manners. Some speculate that the city's sharp class divides might be the root cause. But in this all-American city, you're likely to encounter all sorts of characters, from the friendly neighbor next door to the grumpy bus driver. Number 11, Nashville, Tennessee. Tennessee, widely recognized for its rich musical heritage and the vibrant city of Nashville, fondly known as Music City USA, seems to be hitting a discordant note lately. According to recent research, Tennessee has been cropping up on several lists as one of the rudest states in the U.S. This might come as a surprise given the state's reputation for Southern hospitality. However, it's crucial to remember that these rankings are based on averages and individual experiences may vary significantly. Number 10, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Cheyenne, the capital city of Wyoming, has a reputation for being less than welcoming to outsiders. The city, steeped in rich Western history and culture, is known for its tight-knit community. However, this closely bonded society can often seem unwelcoming to newcomers. While no outright rudeness may be encountered, a non-native to Wyoming might feel a certain chill in the air, a sense of exclusiveness that is palpable. In the second place, it's important to understand that this is not a universal experience. Many visitors to Cheyenne have found its residents to be warm and hospitable. Yet, there are enough accounts of cold shoulders to warrant a mention. This lack of warmth towards non-natives might stem from a deeply ingrained sense of protecting their own, preserving the authenticity of their culture, and maintaining the unique spirit of their state. Number 9. Berlin, New Hampshire Berlin is a town with a distinct claim to fame, its very own federal prison. If that sets the tone for you, well, you're not far off. Add to this mix high unemployment rates and low salaries, it's no wonder that the locals might not be the cheeriest bunch around. It's a place where a frown could be your most common greeting and where small talk might be as scarce as a balmy winter day. Number 8, Charlotte, North Carolina. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, because we're diving headfirst into the unique world of Charlotte. Back in 2017, this bustling city found itself on Travel Plus Leisure's list of the nation's rudest cities. But before you raise an eyebrow, consider this. Charlotte is home to a major airport, a place where grace and patience often take a back seat amidst the hustle and bustle. So, really, can we blame them for not always being all sunshine and rainbows? It's not easy to radiate charm and grace when you're getting up close and personal with a TSA agent, now is it? Number 7. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Milwaukee, the city that straddles the line between Midwestern charm and East Coast edge, often leaves visitors scratching their heads. It seems that the locals have yet to fully embrace the concept of Midwestern nice. That being said, there's a notable exception to this rule if you're a fan of the Green Bay Packers, you'll be welcomed with open arms and warm smiles. So, 
Whether you're visiting for the beer, the bratwurst, or the football, don't let the city's reputation for gruffness deter you. Number 6. Minot, North Dakota Minot, North Dakota, known as the state's fourth most populous city with a population of 48,377 according to the 2020 census, is a trading hub for a large section of northern North Dakota. Despite North Dakota's reputation for friendliness, Minot has been singled out for its perceived lack of warmth towards outsiders. Tales of distant neighbors and suspicious strangers are not uncommon, leading to the notion that it lacks human decency. Number 5. Oklahoma City, Oklahoma Oklahoma, the state known for its vibrant sunsets and windswept plains, is also known for its warm-hearted people. It's a place where you'd be hard-pressed to find genuine rudeness. After all, when you're living in a region where tornadoes are a regular part of life, folks tend to stick together. In fact, this shared experience has created a strong bond among Oklahomans, fostering an environment of mutual support and friendliness. Now, if you head to Oklahoma City, with its bustling streets and high population, you might think it's a bit rude. But don't be fooled. The city's rudeness is more a result of statistics than attitude, with so many people, you're just statistically more likely to encounter a grumpy soul. Number 4. Dillon, South Carolina Awaken your senses in the vibrant town of Dillon, here excitement is always in the air, thanks to its reputation for high crime rates. If you're one who considers robbery a bit impolite, you may find it slightly off-putting. But rest assured, life in Dillon is anything but boring. Plus, with a large commuter population, road rage could be considered a local tradition. It's an adrenaline-fueled adventure on wheels. So, if you're ready for a town that offers more than just the usual, Dillon welcomes you with open arms. Number 3. Rapid City, South Dakota Rapid City, nestled in the heart of South Dakota, is often lauded for its natural beauty and outdoor recreational opportunities. However, it may not be everyone's cup of tea. Some residents express concerns about the city's crime rate, limited medical and educational resources, and aggressive driving culture, which can make it less appealing to some. If you're someone who values access to top-tier healthcare or educational services, or if you're a stickler for polite and cautious drivers, Rapid City might pose some challenges. Number 2. Morrisville, Vermont Contrary to what some may believe, the small town of Morrisville, Vermont, has been praised for its high quality of life. Despite being a smaller community, it offers residents a dense suburban feel with a multitude of amenities. According to various sources, including niche and home snacks, Morrisville is considered one of the best places to live in Vermont. It was even recognized as the 10th best place to live in America based on affordability, economic growth, and quality of life. However, not everything is rosy in Morrisville. Some reports suggest that the town ranks low on certain quality of life factors such as crime, unemployment, and average income. This has led to some discontent among the residents. Number 1. Virginia Beach, Virginia Virginia Beach, the vibrant coastal city where the Chesapeake Bay kisses the Atlantic Ocean, is quite the tourist magnet. And let's face it, that might explain a bit of the local rudeness. Imagine having a constant carousel of strangers parading through your town every year, it could make anyone a wee bit cranky. But don't take it personally, the residents are just fiercely protective of their idyllic locale. Plus, those tourist dollars help keep the city buzzing, so it looks like we're stuck with the tourist resident tango for a while. So, if you're planning a visit, remember to pack your patience along with your sunscreen. After all, charm and chill are just as contagious as crankiness. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.